Happy Wednesday. Um, it's me again. I'm not putting these out every single day because I feel like I'm saying a lot of the same thing over and over again. And it makes it a little harder for people to find the important information that they need. So I'm going to be posting these a little less often, but I'm still online every day. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, a couple important things today. This has come up a lot as I'm starting to send messages out to people who are missing stuff. If you are, um, while you're working on your modules, if you are behind on something, you're going to start getting messages from me bothering you about it. Um, modules one and two should absolutely be done by this point. If you are a little bit behind, you might want to take a little bit more time for science. Um, the checkups seem to be going a lot better because they're a little bit easier for some folks. The activity is causing some issues. Here's what I mean. The activity is asking you to pick one of those things to do and then tell me about it. Well, a lot of people, when they go to do the activity, they chose to do a Flipgrid video instead because that's just easier for them or that's something they'd rather do. Or And I like watching them because I get to see you guys. Um, it kind of... It kind of makes me rest a little easier seeing your face and seeing and hearing you talk about your science stuff. However, if you do a Flipgrid video, you still have to submit something. So when you go to submit assignment, you can do you have a couple choices. You can either copy and paste the link and then just paste what the link is. So I can go straight to your video. That makes things super easy for me. If you don't have the link to the video or you don't know how to get the link to the video, you could just write tech flipgrid and submit those words. If you do, it sends me a message that says you finished your activity. Right up there, you should see that you submitted something. If you don't if you did something on Flipgrid but you did not submit anything on Canvas, Canvas is going to start telling me that you're late with your assignment. Canvas is going to start telling me that you never did it. It's going to start putting in automatic zeros at some point. So I want to make sure that you get credit for your work. So that's a super easy way to get me to check Flipgrid. Make sure that Canvas knows that you have got it done. Um, a quick thing about late work. I know this is new for a lot of people. Um, a lot of people needed a little extra time to get themselves set up to work from home, and I get it. Uh, I'm not taking points off if something is a little bit late. You guys get it done when you can get it done. Some of you guys are uh, keeping up with it really well. You guys are pretty lucky because you have a good work from home setup or you got a lot of support at home or this is just easier for you. And some folks, it's not. So I'm going to be a little kinder on that one. Do make sure it gets done, though. I will start bugging you if it's not turned in. All right, um, back to some important details. If you need help, um, some people are filling out their daily check-in for uh, to, so that we can see what you've been doing. And some people are saying that they, telling Ms. Petaway, hey, I need help from Mr. Barron. If you do that, that's cool. I'll reach out to you, but make sure that if you need help, send me a message somehow. A lot of you guys have emailed me. A lot of you guys have sent me a message in Canvas. Either way, uh, once I get those, I will respond with some information. It might be directly to you, or I might send out a big thing like this if a lot of people have the same question. I will also have those helpline hours open, so make sure that if you feel like, if, if you're not sure how to ask your question, or I answered it in a message and you don't get the answer or you don't understand what I'm talking about, the helpline hours are every day. I'm getting ready a couple minutes to log into it. If you, and it's for anyone who needs help with something, some people just pop on for a quick question and then pop off. It's totally fine. Um, there are some people who just log in so that they can be on the line with somebody while they work. I've seen at least four or five people do that at some point. And that's fine too. Like, I'm happy to keep the line open. You can stay around just in case you have any questions. Uh, Zoom is making us use a password, so it's more secure. So I put the password down there. If you have issues 
logging into it, immediately send me a message so I can get you onto it so I can get you held back. All right. Um, if you just want to use it to say hi, you can just use it to say hi. Like, it's good to see some of you guys. There's not going to be a new module today. Usually I like to do Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, after talking to several people, I think my modules have a good, a good amount of stuff in them that you can do. But some folks are falling a little bit behind my, what I was expecting schedule-wise, which means it might be time for us to slow down a bit. Um, I'm not going to give you the next one until after spring break. Next week is still considered spring break. So next week, I'm not going to be giving assignments. Uh, nothing is going to be due. You can work on your stuff if you need something to do. Uh, you can use that time to catch up, or you can just use that time as like a spring break. We don't have to do online school. All right. If there's any other information that you guys need, um, send me a message, get on the helpline. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day.